what's going on guys and welcome to this week's video this week's gonna be a little bit of a different video on our channel and not a video that I enjoy making at all but it's something that I want to talk about and ask you guys and get kind of get your feedback and your opinions on and that is going to be me on spot burning and if you don't know what I mean by that is is basically people having a problem with me shooting and creating content at specified fishing locations. So this isn't the first time that I have came across this problem since I started YouTube about a year and a half ago, but there has been some people that have been taking it personal when I am fishing at certain fishing locations and calling me a spot burner essentially. I'm gonna have a little bit of a story time right now um, to kind of just kind of catch you guys up on what has happened recently and then we'll kind of go a little bit more into it. So as of recently, I noticed a couple people that I follow on Instagram um, had some really, really good success at uh, a local fishing spot that I've been fishing for many, many years. I w wanted to go shoot out content one week and you know what, I thought it might be a, a good idea to go fish and shoot a YouTube video there. And so me and my buddy went down there, had a great day, shot some content and I had somebody reach out to me via Instagram telling me to not blow up the spot. I just like the message, move forward. Obviously, as you guys know, I am a YouTuber. I do like to post Instagram reels, TikToks, etc. And basically, once the YouTube video was posted, a certain individual commented on it and took it very personally. Uh, I'm not gonna mention any names, I'm not gonna go into any specifics, but took it very personally and made it very personally to me. Blocked me on Instagram, whatever, it doesn't matter. And I'm very, very well aware that as I continue to create YouTube videos and, and create content for you guys to watch and enjoy, this is gonna happen. Like, right, it, having haters is just, is gonna happen. There's no if, ands, or buts. But I did wanna address this issue with you guys and kinda just get your thoughts, your feedbacks, and your opinions because the problems that I'm personally having is one, just like you guys, fishing is one of my hobbies, it's one of my passions. It's something that I absolutely love to do. With that being said, the content creation side of things, I have really, really fell in love with. If you guys didn't know already, I don't just create content solo. I am down here filming right now by myself, but one of my best friends, childhood friends, is also a partner here with me. He does most of my editing um, for me. Him and I have both really grown a passion for the content creation side of it as well. It's I always word it, it's a hobby within a hobby. So what, what do you guys think? I mean, is there, is there any places that I shouldn't be allowed to film at or should be allowed to film at? Because the problem that I've been coming across is these, these places that people have had issues with are just public fishing locations. Like um, this specific spot I'm gonna name right now is not in regards to the spot that I just told you guys about. But I've had this happen with creating content at the Oceanside Pier. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to take shots at anybody right now, but the, the Oceanside Fishing Pier isn't a hidden gem. It's not some sort of secret. So I don't really fully understand why someone would personally attack me over making a YouTube video at the Oceanside Pier. Like literally, if you Google it, it's it's a fishing pier. The other location that I'm not gonna name is, it's the same thing. It's just like a public fish, fishing location, fishing area. It's not, it's not a private body of water. It's not somebody's personal pond. It's not some sort of any hidden gem. And the person that attacked me is, was worried about my following, you guys, the guys that watch my content, are gonna just go down there and murder basically everything that they catch. He's basically said that none of you guys that watch my content practice any sort of catch and release, whether it's bass, sharks, rays, etc. He was just like, yep, yeah, basically, since you posted that YouTube video, all the bloodshed is on your hands and um, it's all your fault and not his. Again, I don't even really wanna talk about specifically that that instance because I know this is gonna be a problem that will never be resolved um, and never will come to an end because again, just with the, the content creation side of things, like you're always gonna have haters and that's okay. 
This isn't something that keeps me up at night. I love it and that's all that matters and I'm not gonna stop and I'm gonna continue just making great fishing content for you guys that you guys can just enjoy at the house when you're sitting on the couch and not having an opportunity like I am to be out on the water. But yeah, just to kind of summarize it up, I just, I just wanted to kind of get your guys' opinions, your feedback. What do you guys think of this problem? Am I in the right? Am I in the wrong? Somewhere in between? Is there certain areas of water that I should be creating content at and other bodies of water that I shouldn't be creating content at? Let me know. I just appreciate you guys. I've gotten so much love and support on the channel lately. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.